Welcome to sunny California. <laughs> Go back, go back. Go back, he's right on top of that go. stump, bro. Stop, stop! Nah, we're all jacked up here, right? Eh? What's happening guys? Welcome to sunny California. <laughs> Do you believe we're still in California? It's weird. You do think you're sunny California. Alright, we got the kids behind us. Let's check in with them and we'll let you know exactly where we're at. We're obviously back in the USA. Yo, Yanni, you got me on channel? Got you mate, yep. Uh, words? Do you have any words? <laughs> Wet. Wet? Snow? Dude. Can you believe we're still in California? All three trucks. It's crazy, isn't Cali like meant to be the happy, sunny day? Yeah, like surfing and all that sort of stuff. Why don't you tell everybody where we are? We are up at the Big Bear Mountains, currently climbing up the side of it on the main road. Unbelievable. What's it like driving in the snow for the first time, Dad? This is really, really weird. This is the first time that I've been driving in the snow, so yeah, it's um, really cool. Absolutely epic. Little Mimi, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Babe, give us your thoughts. What do you think of the scenery? It's really pretty. I love it. It's absolutely epic, isn't it? We're going to have a ball today, darling. Yeah, I'm so excited. Hey, Ash, you copy, mate? <laughs> yeah, I copy, mate. All right, dude, give it to me. How are you feeling right now? This car oh, looks so good in all conditions. <laughs> uh, you're definitely not lying. From the Mojave Desert, from SEMA, show car, to the Mojave Desert, to the snow, to 7,000 foot elevation, dude. Like, what, what's going through your head? Right now? Well, this is the first time, time that me and the 49 have been in the snow, and we are both enjoying it. Yes, very much. Yeah, dude, absolutely epic. All right, kiddos, you're gonna to have to keep your wits about you today. Um, now, I'm just gonna let everybody know what's going on and what the plan is for today. I think we're gonna to have to buy some snow boots. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I definitely ate great. All right, kiddos, have a ball. You can't pay to go to something like this in Australia. <laughs> no, well, you can't, you can't. Well, I mean, look, you can drive up to Threadbow, but, or Never one of the other like mountains, this. What you can't do is do what we're going to be doing today. Yeah, can't how you driving. How are you feeling about today? Very yeah, good. Well, it's pretty for now. Are you a little bit nervous? I'm nervous. I'm always nervous with you. Yeah? yeah. Okay, <laughs> so here's the plan for today, guys. What you're seeing right now is absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. We almost didn't come here. There is a severe weather warning out on the mountain today as we speak. There's flash flooding uh, warnings and there's stupid high wind warnings. So what we're going to do today, we're going to show you some of the trails around Big Bear Mountain, but we're going to be governed by what the weather does today. Yes. Yeah. Right now we're looking really good, but obviously at this sort of elevation and kind of alpine that the weather can come in at any minute. It is absolutely gorgeous out here today. So let's go hit some trails. Let's do some wheeling in the snow mm -hmm. in California. That's crazy. In the USA. Woo!
trial left here. There it is. There's the entrance to the trial there. Alright oh boys, let's go have some fun. Just go do some wheeling, bro. Snow trap. Too much berries, mate. Too much berries. Mate, this is freaking epic. <laughs> this is proper. Like, proper, proper. Now, this descent here is a little bit sketchy. Ashen just slid pretty much the whole way down. Um, big thing for us is the tow pro on the camper trailers. Having that weight, we're probably about 1.6 ton right now. Having that weight on the back, pushing us down the hill, unbraked, and um, we'll just have my hand on the brake controller, so if it all turns pear-shaped, I'm gonna hit the emergency button on the brake controller, and um, and just hopefully kind of parachutes us down, you know? It is uh, very, very slippery. This is stuff you were looking for, huh? Mm. Yeah. This is no cliffs, less than not on a cliff. It's pretty easy, though. All we can do is hit the tree for you, son. <laughs> Sun's in front of the tree. Homeboy, not a good place to stand, mate. <laughs> Trying to go behind that tree, Ash. Excellent. We're pretty big for you. Do you reckon this is the longest program that's ever been through here? Probably. It generally is. Good. Alright, Christian, on your way down, mate, just keep your finger on the tow pro button. If it kind of, you know, if you feel it kind of turning to shit, just push the tow pro button and that'll put your brakes on full lock up, mate, so it'll keep the trailer straight, you know? Mate, you can just press on the cap of the tow pro and you'll lock up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, so this rock here, or you want to mount up on this and go over it. Just continue on that line, mate. Everybody beautiful, you're about to hit that rock. Why don't you come up on it? Uh, turn down. Beautiful. Come down. Beautiful. I like you coming down on that line, mate. Let's straighten up a bit. Turn back that way. Yep, and then just continue your right down like that. We turn a little bit more right. Yeah, yeah you're all good. You've cleared. Sweet. That's bloody beautiful, mate. We just got everything good. Even I thought I was going to hit that branch, but neither of these cars did. It's a bit tight, it's a bit technical, but we got it done. So on to the next thing, and I cannot feel my feet right now. Yeah, I'll 
Kardashian's just run into a major, I can say it from my car. That is a big, big, big trade. A big trade. Oh, we might be lucky here, man. What? Yep, yep, we're good, mate. We're good, we're good. What? No need to play it up. Get the silky saw out. Hard left, yeah? Okay. What do you reckon? Okay. Your winch is not going to move that. Nah. Not a hope in hell. So I reckon if we take this branch out here. Yeah. Do you want to go get the silky out of the X3, mate? I reckon if we knock this off, we knock a couple of them off, it's going to be really tight. Yeah. But we'll get around there, man. What do you reckon? Yeah, we'll just have to cut around a couple of things, but yeah, I think. You're not going to get up I that way. Doable. It's doable though. Yeah, it's the only option. Yeah. You're not going to get over that. No. Winch isn't going to move that. All right, before we do anything, I'm going to go and change my shoes and put some more sh shocks on. Get your RMs on, mate. It hurts. I told you this morning, dude. Yeah, but... You just yeah, don't listen yeah, to your daddy, yeah. do you? Yeah, no, no. Been here, yeah. done that, you got to learn the hard way. Yeah. yeah. All right, champ. Start soaring. On the last car, I'm going to be going the first two. We've kind of cut the trail to come up here when the trail's kind of over there, but making that tight turn around that tree is just not going to happen. So we're just going to come straight up here and then the trail either goes left or right. So I'll guide Ashton up and then he can kind of choose. All right, so this is like a pretty sketchy situation because it's on downhill. That thing looks so cool. So, go okay, turn right, right hard. So this. Max Trax was originally invented in Australia, now they were invented for sand and mud predominantly, but there isn't a situation they don't get you out of something that you need to carry uh, on your truck. Um, we know the boys at Max Trax really well. I would have never thought in a million years I'd be using them in the snow, but great backup or a great first choice. Um, so you want to give that a crack, but look, we'll use the Max Trax. Yeah, mate, you're gonna go up the track that we've made, yeah? Yeah, probably. You just wanna avoid that stuff, yeah? So, you wanna get the wheels further right and then come around it. Well, that's all on you. Okay, well, drive. Like, do I crawl it or get it done? No, it's pretty much chill. Yeah. There you go, mate. Up, up. Okay, sure. Right, back, up. To right, right. Yep, now turn that way a bit, yep. Go back, he's right on top of the front bus. Or Yanni. Yeah. You put another Max tracks under that wheel. Yeah. I, put, I put as many as you can under each wheel. So cool to see these two working together. Look, they're, they're 18, they've done so much more than most kids their age have done. You know, they know a lot. They don't know everything, they're at that age now where it's, you know, they love to challenge me and I love them challenging me, I really, really do. Because it's starting, the scales are starting to tip when they challenge me now that more often than not they're right, you know what I mean? And it's, um, yeah, it's really cool to see these two come of age and being out here with the boys and watching them work together and seeing them wheel the truck that they built in Australia here in the, um, in the 
in the snow. Just, just epic. Just this dump on that side is just catching ashes leaf in the hangar, so I think it's time for it. We don't thing. say the L word, okay? <laughs> just, just, I think it's time it. for a quilt. No, the L word! Let's be Okay, okay. drive it. <laughs> Dash, and you just gotta drive it really slowly forward because um, that stuff is on the corner of your tire. Yeah, go back to the real slide. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, yeah. 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 mate. Yeah, well done, boys. All right, FJ's done. That's going to be a bit of a challenge getting the Mega through. I've got a lot more traction than he does. I'll give it a go without the winch, but um, if I need to, I'll, I'll get a winch out. I'm very confident the black truck's going to need to winch out of here. But um, we'll see how we go. Let's get him through. Now, um, I just tell him to go driver or passenger, yeah? So if, so if his tyres look like it's getting too close to that tree, tell him to go passenger side or if he needs to go that way, so drivers. All right, little girl, here I come. Go straight. Okay, how much more, darling? A hundred mil more left. <laughs> <laughs> I just wait. I just. Okay. I just wait until they dump up against the trailer. Hello, Mum. 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 Hello, Traction mate, bulk, bulk traction. Chip a bit off or not? Not really. It was, like, it was barely like just kissing it. Do I start hugging right or what? Uh, actually, yeah, because that might be the arse over. Okay, if you can from now, try and just go up towards the tree as much as you can so we don't hit the camper. Okay, hook it in. Boys, drop the airbag on the left side. Drop the airbag on the left side. This is the advantages of having bags, mate. You can see that we're tie up on that tree on that side, but... Yeah. 
He's bagging out, mate. So it's a big program to be towing through here, but it, it hasn't been that challenging, has it? No. Um, obviously the tight stuff, bit of an obstacle. Uh, big advantage back here is I've got airbags, so I'm going to use them to my advantage. I've just told the boys to go and drop the airbag on the left-hand side. What that'll do is pull the trailer away from the stump. Yeah. Just give me that inch of clearance that I need just to get the thing around the log. Yeah, so here we go. Yeah. All right, there we go. Made it. We did. Who said the Mega 6 was too big? No, never okay. say never. Not a mark on it. That was good. Good job, boys. Me actually did well just telling Dad, driver, passenger, st straight enough. I mean, it's not that hard. You just kind of have to know where you would put your wheels. So, yeah, not, not bad. Now we just got to get my big old car through. So, I'm confident with getting the black truck through. I mean, if the 6x6 can, the black truck can. The only thing that might put us in a bit of trouble with down in here I'm, I might not have enough enough traction to actually drive up but we have a big big arm tree there we can just winch it so yeah should be fine <laughs> So the black truck is known for flying front diffs and Christian's, Christian's turning, turning, full lock with the front lock on trying to get up a hill and over all these stumps. So we're just going to be safe and give him, and give him a little bit of a hand with the winch. So here's the setup. We got the saber, a winch hook, a Max Trax core shackle, and a really long kinetic rope wrapped around a tree. So let's see how this goes, eh? There you go. There you go. Turn in, follow that line. All right, so he's got traction now, but we're just going to keep him hooked up and pull all the way up. All right, Christian, lock is on. I just drive and I hold the cable. All the way right, right. That's why we need to leave that winch on. Okay. All right, it is what it is. Damn it. All right, we've got a log in the side of the trailer. The only thing we can do now is gonna have to back up. Yeah. Same deal, drop that airbag on the other side. Yeah. Let's lean that trailer over. Yeah. He's gonna have to reverse up. Let's get him to pull tension on the winch to get him up that way before he hooks it in. All right, um, yeah. what do you I might have to re-, re, re it. Yeah, yeah re-rig it. Yeah, that's okay. All right. You want to, uh, I'll jump over and get that airbag. Yeah, you drop the bag. You want to go rig him up? Nah, that's a real shame for the kids though. I know, I know they'll be disappointed with themselves over that. Got him onto a bit where it was, there was enough traction, but we should have just re-rigged it up and kept him under winch. The trailer, the black truck's just slid to the side and it's just put the trailer straight into that uh, rock. There won't be a heap of damage. It's not about the damage. It's probably more about, um, I know the boys will be upset themselves. They'll feel like they kind of failed, you know? But they haven't failed in my opinion. They're getting it done, eh? Trying to leave these kids to, um, to try and figure it out for themselves. Um, and they're doing an awesome job. My 
much better. Yeah, so let's ding that door in. A couple of scratches. You know what? Wouldn't be a patriot if you didn't have scratches on it. to watch the trailer, yeah. I'll watch where the car's yeah, going. We'll right. the Just all under winch, nice and slow, don't try and drive it. Right hand down, right hand down. Stop, slow, slow, slow. That was good. Okay, nice and slow. No, stop. No. We're all jacked up here, eh? Winch out. Left hand down, full lock, full lock. Okay, drive back nice and slow. Nice and slow. Nah, we're just pulling the back over. We're gonna have to get the rear winch out, Ash. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta pull his back over, dude. We gotta get him that way, because we can't disconnect there. Right, I'll let out on the rear. Um, get another tree trunk to so it's a really rare time that you actually need to use a rear winch, but when you need it, you thank God that you got it, because there is just no way we're going to get him around that without destroying that trailer. So what we're going to do is just pull his ass around, get him off that log, and then uh, he should be able to drive straight out. My big concern here right now, I'm jumping in, that wind is picking up whilst we still got sun out, the day is getting on. We've got at least two hours to get off this mountain and I'm not getting stuck up here tonight. So, um, not stress time yet, but we definitely got to get off this mountain, mate. Yeah. Yeah, yep. Go in. Yep. All right, slow, slow, slow. Ash, get it over that log. All right, so now we're, now we've got a full load, like, winching, I like a high ropes course are going on right now. <laughs> All right, Ash, are you holding the front? Yeah. All right, Ashton's holding the front. All we're going to do is try and bump the ass over. All right, Ash, you just pull him forward slowly while I try and roll the ass over. Yeah. Danny, how you going in there, bro? I'm just, I'm just a long footy rider for this point. Oh, it's working, we gotcha. Clutch in, handbrake off, what, just make sure it's rolling under its own steam. All right, Ashton, hit the button, start pulling him. Stop, 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 that's enough, hold. trying to do here because he's hooked up to the winch and the winch is pulling him that way if the winch is pulling him that way it's pushing his draw bar this way that's what's putting him into the log so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna disconnect him because I've got him hooked up on the rear he's, he can't slide this way anymore I want him to go full right hand down now put the draw bar that way as he goes right with the car the draw bar will swing this way and it'll pull the trailer away from the log that's the theory let's see if that works I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident Alright Johnny, I want you full right hand down. Go full right hand down, as hard as you can. Alright, now we'll both lockers in mate, front and rear. Yeah. I want you to just try and inch it forward mate. Slow as you can. Yeah, come on, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming. I'm gonna to have to at some stage disconnect the rear. Keep going. There you go, mate. You're through. You're through. All right. Rear winch is disconnected. Keep going. Get yourself up. Keep going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Well done, bro. Well done, mate. There you go. Good job. All right. And that's how you do that. Damage. 
a little bit of scuff marks here, ding in the door, who cares, whatever. Let's get this show on the road. Well done, boys, well done. Well done, mate, good drive. That was, that was our fault, that wasn't his fault. Yeah. That was yours and my fault. Yeah, we yeah got it's you always done. my fault, isn't it? Well, it's definitely your fault. Oh, there we go. All right, well, I think you coming here, what are you feeling right now? That's the day's getting on. And we're so blessed with the weather, little Mimi coming here. Um, I think right now, um, let's do some lunch, yeah? While we got the sun out, we still got blue skies. The wind is kind of not, I don't know it's what it's bad. doing. It's coming and yeah. going and coming and going. Yeah. Clouds coming and going. There is a severe weather warning on this mountain at the moment, and that's not, we're not playing that up for the cameras that is happening right now. We spoke to a lot of people who said, don't come up here. It could get there. It could get nasty really, really quick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go pull up a camp, um, let's have some food. Let's have something to eat. Let's enjoy the top here, and then we'll roll back that in. That was cool, though. The boys doing all that. That was cool. You guys done good. Ready for a nap after that. Well done. Great. All right, let's eat. How was that, boys? That was pretty cool having to work out and do a recovery ish. No. Yeah, that was badass. Yanni, did you like that? That was a bit stressful, but yeah, yeah, it was fun. Bit of fun. Hey, there's a big sunny patch right in front of you, Ash. What do you reckon we pull up here for lunch? I am so hungry. Just keep cruising down just a little bit, mate. We'll find a sunny patch to pull up. Oh, guys, there's deer here. Deer, come and have a look real quick. Look on the right, oh, guys. Deer, 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 deer. And there was a great one, too. Look, Leah, come and have a look. Any 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 caption necessary? Is there anything to say about that? Has Big Bear turned it on for us or what? <laughs> I don't Big Bear's think we've awesome. got better weather with all the severe um, like warnings that we had. Four in total. Oh. That was your home right there. <laughs> Getting your home. That's right there. Are you too good for your home? <laughs> have we done a good? We have. So good. I think we've done a good. It's so cool. Amazing mm. to think where these trucks have taken us over. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You ever think about that? I think it'll sink in until you go to bed tonight, lying in bed. No, I don't think it won't sink in until that last day. Yeah. Where you finally, you know, you kind of you wrap it all up and you start heading home, and then your brain starts going back into work mode, and <laughs> all the things you got to do, and all the people that rely on you, and all of that stuff, and it's just like, you know, like, wow, absolutely wow. Are you three of the luckiest kids in the world? Yes. yes. I think so. You reckon? Yes. yes. I think we conquered this one today. 
absolutely epic. Smashed it. That a bit of adventure. <laughs> but it ain't over yet. Let's get some lunch in. Yeah. Let's get a feed in, and um, we still got to get down this mountain. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. We're about we're about halfway on the track now, so let's get a feed, mm -hmm. and I'm excited for what you're going to be cooking. You're what helping. are you? Yeah. Cooking. What are you cooking on? All right. Let's eat. Massive advantage of the Mega Six is the full air suspension. So what I've done is I've just lifted the rear to try and get the drawbar up. We're already down, so we're not going to be completely level here. But you can see we're stopped on the side of the mountain. Just drop that other side over. Give this side a little bit. And you've got to keep in mind we're on a pretty steep mountain here. Um, and that's pretty crazy that we can find a level this thing up. Can you tell we're hungry? Yeah, I can tell we're a little <laughs> bit hungry. What is better? Right here, right now, to keep everyone warm, the American hot dog. I know. Yeah? Yeah. Do you want to run everyone quickly through what you're doing? Um, so, we just went to the shops before we came. I've just got some sliced cheese, thinly sliced, and then hamburger buns. Or uh, hot dog buns. Hot dog buns, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, and then the sausages, which we're just going to put the jet boil in the water when that gets boiling. Um, we might even try and heat these up a little bit, I think. I'll get the other pan going, put a bit of butter on them. Yeah. And I'll grill them in the other pan. Yeah, then the yeah. cheese will melt a little bit. And then you've got ketchup, mm -hmm. ketchup, tomato sauce, ketchup. Um, and mustard. Are we going to do onions? No, no onions. How do you have a hot dog without onions? Oh, I've got red onion. I'll have red onion. I think. If you give me an onion, I'll cut it up. It's a deal. All right, hot dogs on Big Bear, on the side of the slope. Ugh. Look at that view. Look so at good. that view. What do you reckon, babe? Infused onion buns. Is that where it's at? That's where it's at. Are you ready? Oh. That looks sick. That looks epic. Oh, this is going to be good. There you go. I'll let you know. Mimi, onions? Yeah, please. Yeah. Dude, was that one of the most coolest things you've ever done in your life? That was very cool. Yeah? Was such and a you, good day. you crushed driving that big uh -huh. black truck. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you, this was all about you. <laughs> Is this what you wanted? Yes. Yeah? Get the big trucks through, we're gonna to have to pull this that way. Uh, is there somewhere you can get the 49 around, mate? Oh, I don't need to pull it that way. If we pull it back this way, we're gonna block the trail more. Yeah. So we've got another tree in the way of the trail, which isn't good. So we're just kind of trying to work out what the best plan of attack is. So I've just checked the app, so I'm looking for an alternative route. Now it does seem to be that there is another track that goes around the back here, so what we might try and do in the interest of time, I might try and see if we can turn this program around. If I can turn this program around, I'll get around here and we'll drop back in and meet this track up there. So I might see if we can turn this program around. If we can't, uh, we'll try the double winch and we'll try and clear this track out. So 
Just swing out this way. Swing out here. Yep, keep swinging it out. We are really, really quickly starting to run out of time now, so no more mucking around. We're probably going to have to put the cameras down now and just get these cars um, with the bottom inside. I really want to get off this mountain. Hey mate, we're just on the side of the road. I think the 49's just done another turbo, eh? Um, it's puffing a heap of white smoke. I just took the charge pipe off and the, the charge pipe is full to the brim of oil. Like, we just come out of the mountains. Like, about an hour ago, the thing used like a litre of oil and we couldn't figure out what was going on, so we topped it up with oil and now it's just puffing. We got down the road about another 20 kilometres and just started puffing white smoke again. But, but yeah, just try and, try and avoid any catastrophes, you know? So I kind of didn't think too much of it. Terrible, actually. No, that's 